My dad, Larry, is a counselor. He's an LCPC, and I've talked with him about this extensively. He even created our emotional eating course, What's Eating You? So we've gone over mental health and diet a lot, and he has a lot of experience dealing with patients with mental health issues and their diet that corresponds. In this video, we're gonna go over how a bad diet can affect your mental health. We're gonna first go over the symptoms of a bad diet and how it affects your mental health. Next, we'll go over how you'll think differently about what you put in your mouth. And last, we'll go over the three-step solution to immediately heal the cycle and improve your mental health. So let me just use myself for an example. I don't even battle mental health issues, but when I eat like crap, if I go off plan, if I put something in my mouth that I know doesn't belong there, I feel like garbage. I get snappy. I get moody because my blood sugars are all over the place. I all of a sudden have a surge of energy and then I tank and I have no energy. I have a short attention span. I'm tired. I, I'm all over the map. I can't put two thoughts together. I'm a total and complete mess. I don't feel like getting up in the morning. I'm tired earlier in the day, so I feel like I want to go to bed sooner. I'm just a complete mess when I go off plan or even if I eat anything that's off my food list. And hey, I, I wanna hear from you. I, is it just me? Or do you feel like this too when you eat like crap? Do you have these same symptoms? I Write it in the comment box below. Tell me what you think. So why is this happening? Why are all these things happening to me and my brain and my mental health when I eat like garbage? The reason might be different than what you think. And it has to do with inflammation. Yes, you've heard that word over and over and I'm gonna say it again. Inflammation in your brain of all places. When you eat sugar, it's gonna cause brain fog. You know what, you know, when you get that brain fog and you're just kinda like, oh, I don't know, you can't shake it and you, you just, you, you feel slow and sluggish and kinda just run down. Well, guess what that brain fog is? It's actually brain swelling. You only hear about brain swelling in, in head injury patients, people that go to get in car wrecks or people that have brain cancer. But brain swelling is happening in you and it's happening in me when we eat sugar. So brain fog is actually brain swelling. Oh, well, if you're trying to be quick and on your toes and trying to operate at a high level and you're trying to, you're just a go-getter and you got kids or you running a company or you got a lot of chores to do or whatever's going on in your life, the last thing you need is brain swelling. I mean, let's call it what it is. That's what's happening. So when you grab a Krispy Kreme donut on the go or you do a quick smoothie shake, which is loaded in sugar in most cases, you've just loaded your body up with sugar, you've caused your brain to swell, and you've given yourself brain fog. And it's not just you getting older, or it's not just you because you just maybe, you know, well, I must not have slept very well last night. It is brain swelling, which is causing the brain fog. So let's call it what it is. And let's understand that you can do something to prevent this. Look, I think we can all admit that mental health disorders are difficult as it is. They have their own set of problems, but adding crap carbs and sugar to the mix and soda and alcohol and crap that is not good for you is not making your body's job any easier. It's not making your mental health journey to be on a clear path and to be clear headed any easier. You're fighting an uphill battle. You're making things harder on yourself. You're making it worse. Understand that sugar causes the brain fog, which causes the brain swelling. And that is slowing up the communication between the neurons. The scale goes up if I eat crap, but that's not even the biggest problem. The problem is I feel like garbage. I am trying to accomplish a high level life here. I am trying to level up my game. I'm trying to aspire higher. So far from what the scale says, if I eat that crap, it brings me down. It causes me to slow down and I'm not accomplishing what I set out to do each day. So when we're talking about a three-step solution to immediately healing your brain and your body, it's gonna surprise you to hear this, but it's real food, water, and sleep. Yeah, the proper human diet is real food, not that chemical crap 
process sugar and carbs that's killing us we are the sickest and the fattest in human history is because we keep eating that bull crap and then i'm talking about sleep and water we are chronically sleep deprived in this society and chronically dehydrated in this society so just eating real food sleeping and drinking your water is going to drastically improve your life and it's going to heal this vicious cycle of brain fog remember that's brain swelling that you've been on forever. My dad is one of the only therapists I know of who actually talks to his patients about their diet because he knows that if he can get his patient to clean up their diet, it's gonna be so much easier for them, for them to deal with the mental health disorder. I don't understand why people are not talking about this more. Why isn't it the first thing we talk about when we come into the room to meet with our doctors? I mean, when you take your dog to the vet, the first thing your vet's going to ask you is, well, you know, little Fido is sick. Well, what you've been feeding them. But that's not the first thing they ask us when we go to the doctor, either for mental health issues or physical issues. But this is something we need to talk about. Getting people off the sugar, getting their bodies cleaned and cleared of all those toxins, getting them on real food, water, and sleep is really going to make the medical provider's job so much easier and it's going to make the patient so much more successful. If what I said in this video resonated with you and you would like to take steps to improving your lifestyle and getting healthier, I can totally help you with that. The 10 pound takedown challenge is the best place to start where you can dip your toe into the lifestyle, lose at least 10 pounds without shakes, pills, diet foods, or exercise. So click the link. I would love to help you get started. I'll see you on the next video.